also built this table. What is that, chestnut? No, I think that is either pine or Nordic cherry. It's pine. I'm looking for Nordic cherry. Nordic what, I'm sorry? Nordic cherry. <laughs> Buddy, I didn't know where to find Nordic cherry. You're on your own there. Given that we're currently in a pandemic and we're not really supposed to be going out, I thought, why don't I change it up and actually go into my garage and build something out of materials that I already have. If you're anything like me, then you're a big Office fan. My wife is actually a much bigger Office fan than me because all she does is literally watch The Office on repeat like every single day. It actually worked out because she was watching the dinner party episode. My favorite part of the episode is where Michael and Jan take uh, Jim and Pam, yeah, I can do that, Jim and Pam on a house tour uh, and they walk into the living room and Michael shows Jim and Pam a handmade table. So that's what I'm gonna be making today. That's what I'm gonna be making today? That's what I'm gonna be making on today's episode of Raw Built. I wanna ensure that I am an upholding the integrity of the TV show by being as accurate as I can. All right, so I need to start dialing in the design of the table starting with an approximate height. So looking at a screenshot where Michael and Jan are standing next to the table, we see that the table approximately reaches the mid torso region of Steve Carell. So I just sent out a tweet to Steve Carell and Melora Hardin, who plays Jan, asking for this approximate measurement. And to cover all my bases, I also went ahead and tweeted John Krasinski as well, hoping to get some answers. Okay, so sadly I have not heard back yet, but I just remembered that I have a buddy who knew someone who met Melora Hardin, so I'm gonna hop on the phone with him. How you doing? How you doing? Is it cool if I film this? Yeah. All right. I know that you have yeah. a friend who has met Melora Hardin. I don't know. Have I? Yeah, because I remember one time you said that you yeah, had a I friend. Know, someone, I can't remember who that was, though. They said that she was the best looking person on set. I don't know. Oh, man. I was really counting on this, man. Okay, so um, I posted on Facebook asking if anyone had met Steve Carell. Turns out that this guy I met years ago on Craigslist uh, used to be his FedEx driver. So I'm going to give him a call a little later today. And hopefully, hopefully, I can get some answers. Gonna, I was going to ask, do you remember how we met? Yeah, the table saw. Yeah, that's right. We, we met on Craigslist yeah. and I bought your table saw. And I still have that table saw. And I still use it every day. That's awesome. I posted on Facebook. I'd asked if anyone had ever met Steve Carell. You said you had. Yeah. So you've met him once. Have you seen him more than once? Yeah, I would see him, you know, here and there, like, at his house. You know, I didn't talk to him all the time, but I would see him or whatever. Uh, but I did get to hand him a uh, delivery one time. Dang it, I'm a freaking idiot because I recorded a perfect interview. My phone cut off and I didn't even check. So got to call him back. We were going to be at around 44 inches. Okay. Uh, so you can officially endorse 44 inches? Yes. All right, now that we know that the height of the table is 44 inches, now we got to start building the thing. Now, I didn't feel right just going with pine right off the bat without doing my due diligence, so I'm going to see if I can source some Nordic cherry in my local area. Hello, can I help you? Um, I'm trying to find a specific kind of wood, and I was wondering if you had it in stock. Nordic cherry, no sir. <clears throat> That's very unique. I've never even heard of that one. I've heard of cherry. Never heard of Nordic cherry. Okay. I've heard of Baltic birch, so I'm, I'm, su I'm not surprised that there is such a thing. Uh, I'm looking for Nordic cherry. Nordic what, I'm sorry? Nordic cherry. Let me uh, hand you over to somebody that can uh, answer that for you. One second, okay? Sure. <laughs> Buddy, I didn't know where to find Nordic cherry. You're on your own there. Do you... People come up with funny names for everything. There's no telling what that means. No luck on the Nordic cherry. They were laughing at me. He was like, can I put you on hold? <laughs> And then when he came back, he was like laughing. He's like, hey, bud, sorry, sorry about the wait. Really? Yeah, he's like, sorry about the wait. No, man, I just looked it up. Uh, I got American cherry, but uh, I can't get you Nordic cherry. So I guess I'm going to have to go with pine. You can do pine. It's not a big deal. Okay, so let's get started on this table. Um, I just found this in my garage. I just found this on my miter saw. I have no idea why this <laughs> exists. I had to have been the one to make this, so what does that tell you about me? Eh. So now that I know that the table is 44 inches, that at least gives me now uh, a starting point to recreate this table. So I'm gonna start digging through and seeing if I have any one by threes in my extra lumber section. I'm relatively certain that I do. Please uh, ignore the tragic mess in my garage. Just pretend like it's all clean and like you don't see the bodies. This is how I'm gonna die. 
This is definitely how I'm going to die. Whoops! Nice! All right. We're in business, baby! We have four one by threes, which is what we're going to use to create the base of the table. Now I just got to measure them and make sure that they're the right uh, length. Oh, you are not going to believe this. Check it out. 44 and 3 quarter inches. I needed it to be 44 inches. It doesn't get any better than that. So now we got to find plywood. I know that he's using a 3 quarter inch piece of plywood just based on my expert opinion. Oh yeah, baby. 3 quarter, exactly what I needed. I can't believe this actually worked out. I almost threw this away like weeks ago because I started organizing my garage and I was like, what could I possibly use this for? Fate, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's get this thing ripped up. Ugh. Not good for my back. 11 inches. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the tabletop for our beautiful creation made out of a pine th three quarter inch plywood. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do to ensure total accuracy is I'm going to find the angle of the cuts on these pieces of wood. So I have my trusty little angle finder here. This first one is five degrees. Second one is four degrees. Third one is four degrees. This last one's kind of hard to see, but I'll do my best. Three degrees on this last one. Okay, perfect. We're gonna make our four degree cuts first. So where I'm going to be putting the actual base of the plywood is at 44 inches, but I'm going to be leaving a little bit of uh, wood protruding at the top just to kind of be very accurate with how the actual table was made. It has the legs kind of going past the table itself. Five degrees. Yeah, 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 I know. The garage is not OSHA approved. Okay, last cut is three degrees. I gotta say, I have never made a three degree cut before, so I guess there's a first for everything. Let's do this thing. I can't even build a crappy table. Okay, so I just finished up the build. Uh, would definitely say that an intermediate or an advanced kind of carpenter, woodworker, DIY person can definitely knock this thing out like no problem. For the novice, I would still say it's a very achievable project. You know, it wasn't too bad. If you have the materials on hand, I definitely think it's something that you can knock out. All right, super excited to stage this thing. Let's see how it looks in place. It's a little tall. According to my FedEx driver, he said it was 44 inches high. That's 44 inches to the dot. So <clears throat> I can only go based off of what I know. Thinking this little corner would be a good spot for it.
before you ask, yes, I am doing private commissions. Uh, if you're interested, leave a comment down below and uh, damn it, my options. Be sure to hit that subscribe and that like and leave a comment down below if you're interested. All right, thanks. Bye.